Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Harsh. In this video, I'm going to solve the Infosys Springboard JavaScript assessment. This assessment has a total of 25 questions, each carrying one mark. And by the end of this video, you'll have all the correct answers to score a full 25 out of 25, 100% guaranteed. Let's get started. Once you click on the start button, you'll see some pop-ups with important instructions. Make sure to read them carefully. It says, don't switch tabs during the assessment. The test must be taken in full screen mode. If you don't follow these rules, your assessment might get auto-submitted or even closed. So be careful and follow the instructions properly. Question one, observe the code snippet given below and choose the right option to access the computed property. This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. The correct answer is option B, log to the console movie.current ratings. Let's move to the next question. Question two, what will be the output for the below code snippet? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, 25 pun. Option B, 25 undefined. Option C, 25 null. Option D, undefined undefined. The correct answer is option B, 25 undefined. Let's move to the next question. Question three, can you predict the output of the below given code snippet? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, error in code. Option B, I-1005, undefined. Option C, I-1005. Option D, I-1005, I-1005. The correct answer is option B, I-1005, undefined. Let's move to the next question. Question four, what will be the output of the code snippet below? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, error in line two. Option B, Edison. Option C, Tesla. Option D, Einstein. The correct answer, is option C, Tesla. Let's move to the next question. Question five, can you predict the value of the X variable? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, only cost of Toyota car. Option B, only cost of Ben's car. Option C, total sum of both the cost of the cars. Option D, total sum of both the cost of the cars plus five. The correct answer is option D, total sum of both the cost of the cars plus five. Let's move to the next question. Question six, consider the below module definition. Which of the below lines rightly imports all the methods of my module? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. The correct answer is option D. Let's move to the next question. Question seven, predict the output of the below code snippet. This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, Sam. Option B, Mark. Option C, Sam Mark. Option D, reference error while accessing name in demo. The correct answer is option A, Sam. Let's move to the next question. Question eight, which of the below is correct way of handling asynchronous code using promises? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, option one. Option B, option two. Option C, option three. Option D, option four. The correct answer is option C, option three. Let's move to the next question. Question nine, observe the code below. What should be filled in blank one to make constructor call to base class person? What should be filled in blank two to make display master details function call of base class person in class employee? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. The correct answer is option B. Let's move to the next question. Question 10, predict the output. This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, number. Option B, string. Option C, error in line three. Option D, error in line four. The correct answer is option A, number. Let's move to the next question. Question 11, which of the below points helps in writing a secured client-side code? Option A, check if the code is vulnerable to HTML injection and XSS. Option B, do not store any user-sensitive information in local storage. Option C, integrate only trusted third-party libraries. Option D, all the above. The correct answer is option D, all the above. Let's move to the next question. Question 12, can you predict the output of the below's given code snippet? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, compilation error. Option B, undefined. Option C, entire array would be printed on console. Option D, default array. The correct answer is option C. Entire array would be printed on console. 
Let's move to the next question. Question 13. Which of the below code snippets will give you the same results? Or this one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, A, and B. Option B, A, and C. Option C, B, and C. Option D, all the given options. The correct answer is option A, A, and B. Let's move to the next question. Question 14. What will be the output of the following code snippet? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, 5. Option B, 30. Option C, NAN. Option D, undefined. The correct answer is option B, 30. Let's move to the next question. Question 15. What is the output of the below mentioned code? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, undefined. Option B, compilation error. Option C, Thompson. Option D, John. The correct answer is option D, John. Let's move to the next question. Question 16. An attacker identifies a CSRF vulnerability in mybank.com website and started to exploit the valid user's accounts. How this issue could be fixed by the development team. Help the team to fix this issue by selecting the correct option from the below options. Option A, advice their users not to open any links. Option B, give control to attackers so that they will attack users. Option C, implement anti-CSRF tokens in their application. Option D, CSRF attack don't have any mitigation. The correct answer is option C, implement anti-CSRF tokens in their application. Let's move to the next question. Question 17. If a function is marked with the async keyword, which returns a text value, what would be the output of that function if it is immediately executed? Option A, text value. Option B, a promise object which is in pending state. Option C, a promise object which has resolved. Option D, exception will be thrown. The correct answer is option B, a promise object which is in pending state. Let's move to the next question. Question 18. Smith, a web developer, wants to write mitigation for CSRF attack, and after discussing it with his team, he decided to implement the mitigation by using anti-CSRF tokens and started to generate the tokens manually to prevent CSRF attacks. Comment on the approach Smith is following. Option A. Smith is approaching in a right way. Option B. Using HTTPS is best way to prevent CSRF attacks. Option C. Creating anti-CSRF token is a good approach, but instead of creating manually, he can use some built-in modules to generate tokens. Option D. CSRF attack is not a serious cyber attack, so no need to spend time on it. The correct answer is option C. Let's move to the next question. Question 19. Can you predict the output of below mentioned code? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, undefined. Option B, hello to. Option C, hello world. Option D, array of hello world. The correct answer is option B. Let's move to the next question. Question 20, observe the code and choose one of the following. This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, above code will result in error because display friends method cannot use friends as is defined in base class person. Option B, above code will result in error as friends is not defined in child class employee. Option C, above code will result in error as friends is not referred using this keyword in line seven. Option D, all the options. The correct answer is option B. Let's move to the next. Question 21, consider the below code snippet written by David. This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, empty array. Option B, array with elements 1 and 3. Option C, array with elements 1, 2, and 3. Option D, array do not support delete function. The correct answer is option D, array do not support delete function. Let's move to the next question. Question 22, predict the output. This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, no changes required. Option B, change double quotes to backticks in line 7. Option C, not possible to achieve since employee list is an array of objects. Option D, change double quotes to single quotes in line 7. The correct answer is option B. Change double quotes to backticks in line seven. Let's move to the next question. Question 23. Ravi has developed the below code to find any string in an array that contains script in it. What will be the outcome of below code snippet? 
This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, compilation error. Option B, undefined. Option C, array with elements JavaScript and CoffeeScript. Option D, JavaScript, CoffeeScript. The correct answer is option C, array with elements JavaScript and CoffeeScript. Let's move to the next question. Question 24, what will be the output of code snippet below? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, Barry Allen, undefined, undefined, Central City. Option B, Bruce Wayne, null, null, Gotham City. Option C, error in line 7, property mismatch. The correct answer is option A, Barry Allen, undefined, undefined, Central City. Let's move to the next question. Question 25. Consider two modules, File.js and File2.js, as shown below. Which R are the code that can be placed in File2 so that all the exports of File1 are accessible in File2? This one includes a code snippet, so take a look at it on the screen. Option A, 1, 2, 3. Option B, 2, 3, 4. Option C, 1, 2, 4. Option D, 1, 3, 4. The correct answer is option D, 1, 3, 4. All right, guys, as you can see on the screen, we've solved all 25 questions. Now to finish the assessment, just click on the proceed to section button, then click on the finish test button. After that, you'll immediately get your result on the screen. That's it for this video, guys. I hope it helped you score full marks in the Infosys Springboard JavaScript assessment. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more coding assessments, tech content, and career tips. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.